What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with Shadow Rider Calyrx and Wo Chen in ranked regulation sheet. Now, when it comes to Wo Chen, I cannot remember the last time I used this Pokemon. So when I seen this run the team, I was like, hey, let's use it up. Let's get Wo Chen rocking in regulation sheet. But Calyrx is our main Pokemon, our main restricted Pokemon. And we're going to be talking about that Pokemon first in the bottom left hand corner. Calyrex has S1 as its ability, rocking the leftovers as item with Nasty Pot to set up that plus two special attack. Then we got Jarini Kiss with the Fairy Terror type, obviously Ash Barrage, and last but not least, we got Protect. Calyrex top tier in Regulation G, cannot wait to use him again. Like we already mentioned, we have Wu Chen on today's team with the Tablets Bruin, lowering physical attack by I believe 25% while this Pokemon is on the field. It's got Citrus Berry as item, Rock and Protect, Pollen Puff, Foul Play, and Snarl for special attack drops. So it can lower physical attack with its ability, and it can lower special attack with that move. Love this Pokemon so much, great for stalling and kind of playing like a slow paced game. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Raging Bolt, My Shell, and for Rigorath and Ursaluna. Rigorath and Ursaluna are going to be perfect for countering Trick Room or going into Trick Room. Rigorath's got Imprison and Trick Room, which again can counter or I can set up Trick Room if need be. Ursula is a great Pokemon within that Trick Room, so he's on the team really solid all around. Like I mentioned, we got Rage Bolt and My Shell for our final two. Rage Bolt is going to be a great special attacker, and My Shell is just great all around. Fake Out, Wide Guard, two very solid moves from Regulation G. I believe My Shell's usage should be going up more and more as time goes on. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Wo Chen and Shadow Rider Calyrex Regulation G team. Check out the team we're going up against in match number one. Super dope team with Talonflame and Reuticlus. Love both those Pokemon. I actually have a Talonflame team coming to you guys very soon, so stay tuned for that. Furthermore, they got me a ride on for the restricted Pokemon, Mamoswine, Urshfu, and Chiyu. Like I said, just an all-around dope team. Just a really cool team. But um, Pokemon that they could potentially lead is going to be Talonflame. I feel like Talonflame might be a must lead for them. Considering, I mean, Tailwind is just going to be perfect. I could go into my shell for a lead. That could be bad considering we could just fake out, get rid of Gale Wings. That's a solid turn for us. That would be a solid turn for us. And honestly, I am going to go my shell here. So my shell is going to come out here for our lead. We could end up leading it with Shadow Rider Calyrex, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Especially because if we get fake out and set up Nasty Bot, obviously it's going to be perfect. We would love that so much. And then in the back end, we could go in with Wo Shen. I think that's pretty good, especially with Foul Play Snarls. I like that. And then last but not least, um, do we go Raging Bolt here? Yeah, I like Raging Bolt. Thunderclap always works well. Assault Vest, can't go wrong with it. A few special attackers on the squad, such as Miraidon. So, I like Raging Bolt. I do love me some Raging Bolt. Plus Thunderclap. Can't go wrong with the first turn prior to move, especially in this format. It's just so good. It comes in clutch too many times. But yeah, I think they're going to lead Talonflame, which I hope they do. I haven't seen Talonflame in a good bit, so... I'm actually really excited to showcase this Pokemon very soon on the channel. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. But Talonflame is just a dope all around Pokemon that I feel like everybody loves, right? Its design is so sick. It just hits hard. It's just a cool Pokemon. It can set up Tailwind. It does everything. It does everything. We love a good old Talonflame. But yeah, I, I predict them probably leading that. Maybe with the Miraidon. So we might see a mirror matchup of restricted Pokemon. And that'll be a tough Pokemon or a tough situation for me to fake out. But now they're just going to go in the Miraidon and Mamoswine. So Mamoswine, Miraidon. Now the real question is, does Miraidon outspeed that Miraidon? And I believe it does. I believe my Calyrex does outspeed because our abilities came out first. So from here, I think just a simple fake out is fine for us to just go into Miraidon. And we could just set up a Nasty Plot. I'm a big fan of this. I'm a big fan of just setting up Nasty Plot this turn. Hopefully they protect the Mamoswine. I hope. I hope, because I would love to just fake out, set up the next spot, and then get wrong with Astral Barrage next turn. Really fine with that. I gotta watch out for Ice Shard, obviously, from from Mamoswine, if he does bring me low enough on HP, but I don't think you can. I don't think you can, so Fake Out's gonna find him, you right on. I doubt it has the Cobra Cloak, and we set up Nasty Pot for free. For free, pretty much. Not for free, pretty much, because Mamoswine's gonna attack. Miraidon's gonna flinch, which is nice, and he's gonna go for the Ice of Crash in this slot, which we don't like. We don't like, but we do soak rather well, which is good news. We do soak rather well, and we do get back some leftovers HP. So I could protect to get even more leftovers HP, or I could just attack. I could just attack. I could try to U-turn pivot out. 
My shot, what's your speed? What is your speed? 172. I could just shoot turn pivot here. This might be my best interest to just U-turn pivot out of here. I am going to U-turn pivot. I'm going to save my fake out. I think fake out for later is going to be nice. Um, MS1 could be Sash, so I am just going to do that. And I am just going to rip an Astro Barrage. We got speed going right now. I mean, you could have Ice Shard, but we're soaking that up all day. Considering we just soaked that Ice over Crash like it's nothing. It's just going to protect Miraidon, which is fine. So Miraidon gets to protect. He is going to end up going for Ice Shard into my shell, which is fine. Astro Barrage is going to come across here. We love a good Astro Barrage. We might even pick up KO onto, uh, onto Mammoth Swine with this. Let's see. Yep. Straight up KO. And now U-Turn's actually going to get blocked, which is kind of tough. U-Turn getting blocked when it shouldn't have got blocked. But we're sitting plus three, and we'll get some leftovers HP. We will get some leftovers HP. So we try to U-Turn pivot out of here. It's not happening. We might just have to start attacking with my shell. Kind of going from there. But if they do throw out a physical attacker, I might be tempted to just swap my shell into... Wo Shen. Because Wo Shen's nice. Especially up against physical attackers. They're going to send out their third Pokemon, which is Talonflame. So this is where they could. Oh. They could go for a lot here. This is tough news. I don't like this. I don't like this. I, do, I don't like this at all. Because you're going to go for Tailwind. You're going to go for like an Electro Drift or something like that. I could go into you, but oh, this is... Oh, man. I'm definitely going to U-turn out of here. I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to read out a turn. I think you got to go for Tailwind into like an Electro Drift into Calyrex, right? I think that's a must. I think that's a must. So we're going to pivot here. And we're going to go from there. So now they still have Gale Wings for first time priority. Plus they edge out to speed us. Electro Drift's going to get blocked. Um, ba -ba 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 -bam -ba -bam -ba -bam -ba Tough news here. We are wasting out terrain turns, which is pretty good for us. So when you turn pivot, um, Raging Bolt probably your best option. Correct? Correct? Yeah, Raging Bolt definitely our best option. And did we just hard swap? Did we just hard swap Calyrex here? I know I'm plus two, but it dies if we don't hard swap. But how many turns left in terrain? One, two. Two turns left in terrain. Did we Terra Electric? I think we are going to Terra Electric here. And just go for a Thunderclap. So I'm going to go for a Thunderclap and... I think now is a solid turn for us to just swap into Wo Chen. Because the thing is here, I want to waste out Tailwind turns, and I want to waste out Terrain turns. Whoa, 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 whoa. We want to go back. We want to Terrasize. We want to go into Thunderclap here. And I want to hard swap into Wo Chen. That's what I want to do. So yeah, we want to waste out Tailwind turns, and we want to waste out these Terrain turns. If Talonflame doesn't Terrasize here, I would love to just dump on it with Thunderclap. I think it's, that would be a great turn for us, considering then Mirai and I cannot swap out and get back Electric Train for those big time damage shots. But yeah, I'm just going to withdraw Calyrex and play this one slow. Wo Chen coming out here. I mean, you could be going for Brave Bird potentially into this slot, which which could happen, but I'd rather you take the damage than Calyrex. Let's be honest. And we're going to see a Terra pop out here. Show me it's from Miraidon. Show me it's from Miraidon. And it is. Fairy Miraidon? No, it's straight up Electric. That's looking scary. That's looking real scary. That's looking real scary. That's looking scary. Not gonna lie, it is looking scary, but it's not Talonflame, which is good news, right? Because we're thunderclapping in the Talonflame slot. Looking to just one-tap it up. Hopefully it's not Focus Ash, but it, it could be Focus Ash, right? I wouldn't be surprised if it's Focus Ash. Could be Sharp Beak as well. Could definitely be Sharp Beak. So we Terrasalize, and he's gonna go for Upper Hand here, which is great play by them. Really great play by them. He's going to go for Electro Drift. So we should be able to soak Electro Drift decently well, I would think. Yeah, I mean half. That's fine. That's almost exactly half. Almost exactly half. Um, and from here, we can actually slow down because there should be one turn left in both. One Electro Train and two in Tailwind. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And on top of that, I'm just going to snarl up. 
I'm just gonna snarl up with the E-Webs. So we're gonna slow them down a little bit. We're gonna snarl up with the E-Webs. And if I can get some damage off onto them, that's really good news for us. But he's gonna go for an Electro Drift into this slot. Into my Rage Bolt with the Salt Vest, which is good for us. We soak decently well. And what else are you going for here? Flare Blitz, maybe? You're gonna go for a Flare Blitz into Rage Bolt, which we should soak. Yeah, thanks to Wu Chen's Tablets of Ruin. That works wonders. So you're gonna take some recoil damage. We can now get off an E-Web, which is lovely. And it does beautiful damage into Town Blade. Getting rid of it and slowing down that Miraidon. Plus, I'm going for a Snarl. So that's massive. That's massive because Miraidon's terrain's gone. It's minus one on speed. And can the Snarl land? And the Snarl lands, so it's minus one on special attack. For the rest of the battle, it can't swap out. So swapping in and out, making some good plays with Wu Chen here in match number one. Not bad. So we have one turn left in Tailwind. That's all we gotta worry about. Chiyu is going to fly out here. I think it's it's safe for us to just go into a uh, a what's it called? A snarl and actually we could double down with snarl, but chance already double KO me. I'd rather just go for thunderclap. Do some nice damage to you. So I'm gonna go for thunderclap. I am gonna go for a snarl, and we'll go from there. And we will have fake out with my show in the back end, which is good news for us. Real good news. Only problem would be if this Chiyu is choice scarf, which it could be. It definitely could be. It definitely could be. But I'm hoping it's just attacking and I can Thunderclap and maybe just KO. So I'm hitting hard with this Electric Terra. But the terrain's gone, which is tough news. The terrain did help us kill that Talon Flame, I think. Terrain did make some magic. So again, minus one speed on... On me, Rhydon. They're still up faster than us because Tailwind is here. Thunderclap is going to fly here. And they're going to pick up a double KO. We already know they're picking up a double KO. That's some nice damage right there. That is some nice damage. But Heat Wave's going to fly through here. It is going to pick up the double KO. And now we're sitting in this position where it's kind of weird, right? We have our Fake Out user. We have Shadow Rider Calyrex. I think we have to Fake Out Chiyu, though. I think we have to Fake Out Chiyu. And the reason I say we have to Fake Out Chiyu is because we know our Calyrex is outspeeding their Miraidon. And we know an Astral Barrage will KO them. But this Chiyu might be faster than this Calyrex just due to speed. Or due to, like, a Choice Scarf, right? Tree Scarf could definitely do us dirty. So from here, I could honestly just wide guard, but I think now's a safe turn for us to just go fake out into Astro Barrage, and then if that doesn't KO the Chiyu, then we just go wide guard next turn, right? Block a Heat Wave. Because they still don't know we have wide guard. They still don't know we have the wide guard. But solid first match here. Solid first match. So we'll throw to Astro Barrage. We will throw to fake out. They already use Terra. They can't Terra into Ghost with Chiyu. And we'll play it this way. So great swaps for us. I honestly didn't want to swap my Calyrex that was plus two, but I felt like I kind of have to if I want to win. And they just cancel battle. So I guess they weren't truly scarf. We win that one all day long. Moving on to our second match, and we are going up against kind of a similar team, I guess. Not really. We both have Frigraf and Ursula. That's pretty much it. But they have Incineroar, Wimscott, Miraidon, like we just first in the last match, and Cornerstone Ogre Pond. I feel like it's going to be a must to probably just bring Ursula and for Rigraph, but I could honestly just lead for Rigraph, stop first turn priority such as Fake Out, and stop Trick Room. I'm cool with that. I am so cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. I'm going to go into Rigraph, and on top of that, I think we just got to go into Calyrex, right? I think we have to go into Calyrex, because the thing is, if they want to go into a Tailwind user, then we could just Trick Room. We got a lot of different options here. We got a lot, a lot of different options. So I'm going to go into Calyrex. I'm going to go into Frigraph. Um, for physical attackers, they don't really have too much. So I don't really like Wu Chen here. But I am going to bring Raging Bolt for sure. And last but not least, this is tough. Do I just go Ursaluna? As much as I don't want to go Ursaluna, it's typing just so well. It's just a solid typing. Like a ground type Pokemon up against all these guys just seems to work well. Right, super effective into Incineroar, super effective into that Miraidon. Plus, it will not take electric shots due to the ground typing. It's just, it's just good. It's just good. But we'll see how this one plays out here. That first match was phenomenal. We played that one really well. So did our opponent. We just ended up coming out on top. And they're going to go for a graph alongside with Incineroar. So, no fake outs allowed. Um, I could honestly just Thrasilize and set up in a spot, which might be my best interest. Which just might be in my best interest. And honestly, we're going to do that. They're going to intimidate me. I mean, that's fine. You could set up a Trick Room if you want. You could set up a Trick Room if you want. And honestly, I'm just going to imprison Trick Room. I got Calyrex on the field. I have Calyrex on the field. I'm going to Thrasilize and go into a Nasty Plot. 
I have Calyrex on the field. I might as well just not allow him to set up Trick Room. We're just not going to allow it to happen. So we'll Terrasilize here. We think Knockoff is potentially coming out here into the Calyrex slot. He, it's fine if you take off my leftovers. I'm just going to probably drain and kiss more so than Astro Barrage these next couple turns. So that could be my HP recovery. And then I believe they're trying to set up Trick Room. So I can see. Oh no, Helping Hand Knockoff? Is, is that the play? You're going to take out my Frigraph? That could be a little annoying. You're going to take out my Frigraph? Please go after my Calyrex. That's all I ask. Go after my Calyrex. You are taking out my Frigraph. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. At least I get off a Nasty Plot. At least I get off a Nasty Plot. So I got off Nasty Plot. Um, who do I go into here? Kind of could just go into Ursaluna. I could just go into Ursaluna. It wouldn't be bad for us. I could save Ursaluna. Um, Rage of Bull could come out here, but what's Rage of Bull really going to do? Just slow down Pokemon? I think we save the Rage of Bull. I think we just go into Ursaluna. So smart play for them just to go after my Ferrigis, man. Just to go after my Ferrigis. Helping hand, dump on my Ferrigraph. Um, we are going to go for an Earth Power here. Nasher Blast isn't really going to do much, so we're just going to rip a Drain Kiss. Who do I Drain and Kiss here? You could just Party Shot into me. We're, we're just gonna drain and kiss this fruit right here. So if you set up Trick Room, you set up Trick Room. I have Ursula Luna on the field. Um, oh man. It's not looking good, especially if you have Mirror Ride on in the back end. Maybe I should double down to Fruit Graph. Drain and Kiss gonna fly here into Fruit Graph, do about half damage. Not bad. Another one will KO here. And Earth Power is outspeeding you. We're KOing you with that, so that's solid. We had a crit. Ooh. We like that. We like a crit. I don't gotta deal with like party shots or anything. Chance are you probably set up a trick room, correct? No surprise my Ursula when it is out speeding. Yeah, there's a trick room. That's why I went to imprison. That's really why I went to imprison. So now they set up the trick room. Um they'll probably go into Ursula, which is a tad bit scary here. Tad bit on the scarier side. And I could end up hard swapping maybe Calyrex, but I don't know. We might just want to protect it for a turn. Or we could just straight up attack, depending on who they go into. I'm at full HP. They bring out Whimsicott. Ooh. I don't I don't mind Whimsicott on the field. I do not mind Whimsicott on the field. I want to hope that a Hyper Voice actually KOs. I would love to just go Hyper Voice and Astro Barrage. Because I know it has no effect. I might just want to go into a Blood Moon into. I might just want to protect Calyrex here. You know, we're just going to go for Draining Kiss. We're going to get back HP. We're going to get back HP here, because I don't think you have enough attack power with Whimsicott and Ferrigraph on the field to KO my Calyrex. So I think we're just going to take some damage and then recover some damage. So Hyper Voice flies here. It does not pick up the KO, which kind of sucks. On oh, Ferrigraph, and Terra Blast is going to fire. So again, I think we just take damage and then we recover some. And you get a crit, which actually tough news for us. Can I soak this? I do soak this. You do get a special attack drop. So I'm only plus one now, but still... We're picking up a KO with this. For Rigraph, we know Urs our Ursulina outspeeds Rigraph, which is good news. I can just throw a Hyper Voice across the board. A lovely little Hyper Voice. Alright, so not bad. I mean, the final Pokemon has to be Miraidon, correct? It has to be Miraidon. And since Trick Room is up, honestly, my uh, my Raging Bolt would outspeed it, right? It would be slower in this instance, which is good because I can just start Dragon Meteor. I can just throw a Dragon Meteor. It's gotta be Miraidon, right? Unless it's Ursa Luna. It's gonna be Miraidon. Okay, so Miraidon flies out here. Um, obviously, I can go for Earth Power. Um, but I think we just go for Hyper Voice here. I think we just make sure Frigraph dies. The Electric Seeds are gonna come out here. We are just gonna go for Hyper Voice. Deal damage on Frigraph, pick it up a KO. And then we will just go for a Draining Kiss here. Obviously, I could have protected it, but... I think we're fine. I think we want the trick room turns now that your Rhydon's on the field and my Calyrex is about to die. We don't really want to waste them out. We kind of just want to step up to the plate, try to attack. If they die, they die. It's actually fine for us because I think we should have at least two more turns left in trick room. Something around there. But now it's going to come Hyper Voice. We pick up a beautiful KO onto Frigraph. Your Rhydon is their final Pokemon. And he's probably just taking out Calyrex. If not, I win the game, right? If you don't take out Calyrex, I win this game. And I win this game. You go for a trick room meter in the first I win the game. And this is why I attack. It's just like, for some off reason why they wouldn't attack Calyrex. 
like Protect would just lose this the game, right? But they end up not not hitting our Calyrex. We go for a Draining Kiss, plus one, and we pick up KO. Beautiful, lovely, awesome. 2-0 with this team so far. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Moving on to our third and final match. And honestly, I would like to use Wo Chen a bit more here, but we're going up against so many special attackers. But at least Wo Chen's typing is actually rather solid up against these special attackers. So we might just want to lead it and start throwing snarls out. That could be pretty good for us. Nice little snarl session for us, but we could lead a fake out user. They could lead a tailwind user, which is a little rough on our end, right? Definitely a little rough, but I think going into maybe like Calyrex for our lead, just so we can dodge fake out and intimidates is good for us. And on top of that, maybe just going into our fake out user could be good. What do I want to do here? I could maybe just go into you. That's not bad because intimidate won't affect you. But I want Wu Chen in this party somehow, right? I definitely want Wu Chen in this party somehow. So I'm going to end up going into Raging Bolt here alongside with Calyrex. I do like that. And then furthermore, we're going to go Wu Chen and have our fake out user in the back end. I could pop a trick room if I want to. Maybe do I want to bring Frigoraph? No, I think we're fine. I don't think they lead to an Otis. I really don't. Seeing Frigoraph here, I don't think they want to lead to Otis. They could lead to an Otis. They're probably going to lead Kyogre, which is why I look like Raging Bolt. Like, Kyogre just screams here, considering I have no way of weather control. So, I think leading Raging Bolt just kind of poses a threat onto that Pokemon. And we kind of get after it that way. But, this one's going to be a true test for us. We are 2-0, which is awesome. We grabbed ourselves a winning re record already. But, Kyogre teams are always strong, man. They're always tough to play up against. They're going to end up leading Archaludon and Kyogre. So, Archaludon Kyogre comes out here. Um, Is that Choice Scarf Kyogre? That's the real question. Is that Choice Scarf Kyogre? I don't think it is. It could be. I could just go for a Thunderclap. Which might be in my best interest. So, honestly, I kind of just want to go for an Astro Barrage here. Instead of an Acid Block. We're going to go Astro Barrage, and we are just going to throw a Thunderclap across the board. Right into this thing's face. I could honestly slow him down with E-Web. Because you could potentially protect here. But you know what? Actually, yeah, we're going to throw E-Web. We are going to throw E-Web. Let's see what Kyogre ends up doing. Protecting, maybe swapping out. I feel like this lead's pretty solid up against it. Yeah, there's a swap out. Good thing I switched Thunderclap for E-Web. Smart call for, for us. Good little pullback for us. So he ends up going into Real Boom. Not too bad. They got Fake Out ready to go. They can't Fake Out my Astro Barrage user, which is beautiful. Which is just a good sign. And they're going to end up terrestrializing Arch Luna. And it's probably Fairy, right? Fairy's solid. Yep, nice little Fairy tower. So that's going to help him with Astro Barrage. We are still going to do some nice damage over onto... Over onto what's it called? Over onto Rillaboom. So Astro Barrage going to fly here. Not bad damage. Still doing beautiful damage. Beautiful damage into Arch Ludon. He's going to get the stamina boost. He is going to go for an electro shot, which I think we should soak, right? Calyrex, I hope you soak. If not, I'm going to be scared of Grass God. I am going to be scared of Grass God. That's plus one. Please don't kill me. Cool. All right. We soak all day. We soak all day. E-Web is going to fly here. It is going to do minimal damage, but not bad with the speed drops. Not bad with the speed drops. So really, they pose a big time threat onto Calyrex right here. Um, I, I think I might just protect just to get as much HP back as I can. Because I have leftovers and terrain popping out here, so that's just a nice chunk of HP. Plus, it protects us from glide, Grassy Glide. But you're probably going to think out my Raging Bolt. But for, for now, I think it's a solid turn for us just to kind of just... Kind of just to protect my uh, Calyrex gets back some HP. So I'm going to go into Protect. Um, I think from here... Did we just Terra and try to throw a Thunderclap? I think we just try to throw a regular Thunderclap regardless. See how much damage this can do. So we protect Calyrex. Let's see what he wants to end up doing here. He's just going to protect him, which is fine. And are you going for Grass Guide? You got to be going for Grass Guide. You got to be going for Grass Guide. You're going for Woodhammer. Wow, Woodhammer. That's that's odd. Maybe I just stay in here and, and throw it uh, Astro Barrage. We're going for wood hammers. I think we just stay in here and throw an astro barrage. I really do. I really do believe that. Do I? Do I do it? Do I do it? I think we do it. I think we stay in here. The real question is, how much do we have to double down into Archaludon now? Yeah, I think we have to double down to Archaludon. So I'm gonna go for another astro barrage here. 
And on top of that, I might snarl or e web. I'm just gonna e web here. I'm just gonna e web just in case they swap like Kyogre or something. And they don't. And I'm surprised they're not going for Grassy Glide. So Astro Barrage flies. We stick with it. And it puts Arch Luton on, on one. It puts him on one. Luckily, we are out speeding because of the first e web. And now the second e web can just finish it off. So that's big time. So we finish him off. He's gonna go for Wood Hammer. He is definitely going to take out my Calyrex. But we still have Rage of Bolt just chilling on the field. Which is good news for us. So we'll say bye-bye to Calyrex. We do some beautiful damage onto Rillaboom. Um, we get rid of Arch Ludon. Calyrex dies out. That's fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I think we got off some value here. So he takes some recoil damage, which is solid. And he's going to faint. Okay, so a double KO pretty much. Beautiful. And it's a little recoil double KO. And now they're forced to bring back out... Now they're forced to bring out Kyogre here. Now they're forced to bring out Kyogre, which is good news for us because now I can go into a fake out user. I can fake out and I can start spamming snarls, right? I can start spamming snarls and then eventually I can swap, uh, what's his name? My Shell or Wo Chen just because due to good typing and I get another fake out later. So I, my plan is just to snarl through, right? Lower special attack, lower special attack, lower special attack, waste out, um, rain turns as well and just go from there. I mean, you can pretty much set up rain again, but. We do have Y-Guard, which is solid for us. We do have Y-Guard, which actually I can just stay in here and throw a Y-Guard the next turn. But I'm just going to fake out Kyogre. I am going to throw a Snarl across the board. We got Assault Vest as well, which is gorgeous. And he just protects this Tornado. Sorry, double protecting? Could be the play. Yeah, he's going to double protect. So I'm going to throw a Y-Guard. I'm not going to swap into Wo-Chen. We have Wo-Chen, but I'm not going to swap into it. Smart little double protect. I know chances are all you have is Bleak Windstorm, and you want to throw Water Spouts. Snarl's gonna get blocked. So I'm gonna go for Wide Guard. I'm gonna throw Snarls across the board, right? Love me some Snarls. Love me some Snarls. You could potentially have Ice Beam. Do I want to Terrasilize? My guy, actually, I still have Terror if I want to use it, but I'm just gonna save it for now. I'm just gonna save it for now, because I think this is a smart turn for us to just go for Snarl as much as I want to go for Thunderclap. I just think it's a perfect turn for us to go for the Wide Guard. I mean, you got Bleak Wind Storm, you got Water Spouts probably coming. That's fine. So they end up going for Tailwind. I can always Thunderclap that Kyogre as well. And he's gonna go for Hydra Pump. Wow, that's scary. Luckily, I do have the Ye Olde Focus Ash, which works wonders. And I'm gonna go for Snarl. Beautiful. The so Snarl comes out here. I am gonna Y Guard and throw another Snarl. And the rain's gone. Actually, so he's gonna go for Rain Dance and maybe another Hydra Pump. Maybe another Hydra Pump. That is an option. But again, we're just Snarling. We are just simply snarling in Y Garden. We're gonna use as many turns as we possibly can here. So I'm gonna go for a snarl. I'm gonna go for another Y Garden. We're just not gonna allow him to do anything. He's just gonna protect. That's fine. We're Y Garden. We're Y Garden. We wanna just keep snarling. Because with the vest, everything's just working good here. Unless you start getting some crits, which I don't like. You just could go for Ice Beam, so that's fine. That's fine. We'll get the Kyogre to minus two. We'll have the. Uh, Bleak Wind Storm user, the Tornadus to minus one. And honestly, this is where I could start just simply attacking with my Rage of Bolt, right? I could tear it into Electric, which is pretty solid. And Wo Chen could be the Snarl user now. I like it. And if I need HP back from my, uh, from my, what's it called? From my Rage of Bolt, I can just Pollen Puff into it. So obviously I could just go for Thunderclap, but I just don't think that's the play right now. I don't want them just like protecting and just having like a simple turn. So I'm just going to E-Web. E-Web with Electro Trainer all day long. It's looking pretty good for us, guys. Pretty good. Did they use Terra yet? I can't even remember if they did. I probably should have checked. But we're going straight into Electric Trainer. We're getting rid of our Dragon Typing, which honestly the Dragon Typing was solid for us. Especially going up against Water, but I think I just want this damage boost here. The Bleak Wind Storm's going to fly here. We do not have... Uh, <laughs> we do not have Y Guard anymore, so they're ready to just throw double heading moves. Ranger Bolt soaks no problem. You get a crit on Raging Bolt too. And the Ice Beam's gonna find a Wo Chen, which you should soak Wo Chen. Yep, little bulky boy. Little bulky boy with the berry! With the berry. We love a good old Wo Chen. This is my first time using him in a good bit, so it feels good to grab some wins with him. E Web's gonna fly. I'm just gonna start Thunderclapping after this. That's some damage. That's some damage. That's gonna be the game. That's gonna be the game. The true test in match number three. Going up against this Kyogre team. We're gonna win this one all day. There's a speed drop, and guess what? We're snarling again. I like this Wo Chen build. 
very bulky, just pesters opponents. And now we have Kyogre to minus three. So from here, we're just going to spam a foul play, and we're just going to go into a Thunderclap. GG's to our opponent. That's going to be a 3-0 perfect record, and they just canceled the match. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Wo Chen, Raging Bull, and Shadow Rider Calyrex getting after it in today's video. Another 3-0 perfect record. Chalk that up for back-to-back -back perfect records on the Jeans channel. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. Absolutely love this team. Hopefully, you guys did learn something. Learn that maybe Wo Chen is the real deal. I'm just playing around. It's okay. It's nothing crazy, but it was actually a lot of fun to use it considering I haven't used it probably in at least five to six months. It's been a while. It's definitely been a while. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend a positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.